What is up, everybody? Uh, and Celestials coming back at you. Why did I say that? Like I'm cool. Uh, I am here today to continue the series of uh, Let's Play every single NES game and Super Nintendo game later on uh, that appeared in Nintendo Power's Top 30, which you see here. This is episode 3. Um, we are starting at the very beginning, so that takes us all the way back to July of 1988 uh, when Nintendo Power released its very first issue featuring Super Mario 2 on the cover. Um, and as you see, number 3 would take us to Gradius at position number 28 on the top 30 list. According to readers of Nintendo Fan Club who sent in their votes at that time, Gradius was the best game ever, minus 26 other games. It had a total of uh, seven votes for seven points on here, uh, tying, uh, let's see, Section Z, which I don't actually know. We'll be playing that uh, next time. Um, yeah, uh, nothing much else to say uh, about the way we do things. Hopefully you're getting a little used to it now. You can see the previous two episodes, if not. One uh, tradition around here, before we get into Gradius, is uh, we actually tell dad jokes every hour. Just It's just a tradition, I don't know why. Um, so I, I tell one to kick off, and then every hour put in another one. Um, I think I looked up how long Gradius is. I think you can beat it in an hour, so maybe we'll hear another one. I'll throw it in if you're good. These are terrible, I didn't write them. You'll probably even guess the punchline, but here it is. What do you call a fake noodle? You know it already. It's an impasta. It's an impasta. Oh, that hurt. Okay, so that was a terrible joke and Gradius is a pretty hard game so it requires whiskey to deal with the situation that I've created for myself and uh, then we're gonna play some Gradius I uh, I should note one thing actually which is that I uh, play the games very casually obviously trying to do coverage and, and doing everything in the name of content tourism not necessarily about um, showing skill, but just showing appreciation and a simpler time in our lives. I personally was nine when uh, Nintendo Power came out. But uh, yeah, so when I am uh, talking about playing casually, I mean I'll use cheats if I want to. If, uh, if I feel like my skill is getting in the way of us having our, our fill of content tourism, I'm going to use a cheat and I'm not going to feel bad about it. We just want to see what these games were and what they do so we can appreciate them and uh, give them one last toast. So uh, with that, cheers to everybody. And let's bring up our casual stroll of Gradius. How are you going in demo mode? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna reset here. And let's get into it. Sorry, mouse cursor was in the way there. So the blue enemies are just there for you to kill. The red ones typically have these power-ups. Just in case you guys haven't played Gradius, I'm sure you have. But then on the bottom, as you get power-ups, it kind of is currency that you can spend on upgrading your ship just in real time while you're flying around. So, right now I've already got missiles, so that's blanked out. Up next would be, uh, there it is. Oh, that's also blinked out because I got double. <laughs> Laser, I don't really quite want. Now, option, that's what I'm talking about. 
Now we're talking. Okay, so... I don't know if anyone's heard of the Konami Code, but that made its debut in this game. I was hoping that blue... So the blue things actually clear the screen. The blue power-ups. The red ones upgrade their ship. So the Konami code, I think everyone knows by heart, is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, VA, start. And, uh, it was actually put in there because one of the playtesters was having a lot of trouble with just the difficulty of Gradius. It is a hard game. And... For whatever reason, it never got taken out. As I recall, this is the best way to do this. Okay, I have terrible. I'm just gonna spam it. You just have to survive. Cool. But yeah, somebody like me was trying to play Gradius and couldn't hack it. Oh my god. That's rough. And that's why the Konami code exists, because of schlubs like me who just want to be total casual. Why did I just speed up? I need firepower. You know what? You know what? Well, let's get farther along. Looks like a freaking walnut. Not the worst graphics I've ever seen on the nest, though. Totally get killed because I don't have the missiles in the option. Yeah. That's how brutal the game is. It's level one and there's pretty much no escape from flying rocks everywhere right there. Oh shoot, that's a power up guy. Ah, Mr. Okay. Alright. Uh as I recall, the um it's down, up, B, A, B, A, B, A, to continue. Actually, I was on level one, so that'll just start me at the beginning. But down, up, ba, ba, ba is continue. Which is kind of catchy. When we get to a point where it makes sense, I'm totally going to use the Konami code. So what it does in Gradius, um, the guy was having trouble playing it, so he entered, he entered that, and it totally, like, decks out your ship with, like, the shields and the option and devil and missiles. So, it just makes it easier to get through areas. I get, I get it, I used to test games at, uh, Microsoft. Um, I worked on Xbox games. I mean, the credits for, uh... Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, the other banjo re releases. I'm talking too much, I can't play. And it was a lot of fun. But you do, it does get repetitive. If you have to like test a use case that's just hard to get to repeatedly um, every build, then it's good to have a shortcut, so I totally get it. Nowadays, you kind of put in hooks to just force the game to start at a certain point, and you have save states and all that kind of stuff. Turn it down a little. So, obviously, I suck. Let's see. Let's see the Konami code in action here. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A, start. Bam. And I am a monster now. I really don't even want any power. I'm just collecting them because I can. So, if we have time, you know, I like to do at least an hour long stream. I don't know if Gradius is going to be beatable in a short amount of time. But if we have time, I am totally going to get uh, into the what they call the spiritual six like prequel 
uh, which was an arcade game called Scramble that Konami made. That came out, came out all the way back in 1981. And, yeah, you can see a lot of similarities. Um, from here, they put out a spin-off series called uh, Salamander slash Life Force. And Gradius 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, been a very successful series. I think it's pretty neat. Like, certainly being able to sort of customize your ship as you go was a neat feature. Alright, I'll speed up. That's a good car. Uh, there we go. I get, I get why this guy did it. It is a lot easier this way. Alright, so now... Now this volcano ain't gonna get me. Chilling, I'm gonna survive. Honestly, why don't you just keep flying? Like, if you're in a spaceship, why, why just hang around while a volcano's going off? Like, what physically was actually keeping me staying put there? Woo, that's. Okay, I can swear it down. Whoa! There we go. Bye, sucker. Am I in stage two? Maybe. That seems like it, right? Do that again? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, S. I can! <laughs> you can do it like once per life, so pretty cool. Just turbo. It does make it easier. Projectiles every goddamn way. Don't even come near me. That is a lot of bullets. You should die. pretty smoothly. Kind of got the hang of it a little bit. I always like that in NES games. It's like they didn't quite have volume output, so they... It's like they just made the notes kind of softer by truncating their length. They couldn't just fade it out, clearly. It all needed to be made of synthesizer instructions. I guess this boss is just this. Huh. It's like there's a survival round, and then... they let you go. You again? Motherfucker, I already handled you. do this all day. Just all day this. Whatever you want to do. Really, you don't have the ability to go forward and back, so I'm just going to use that in my favor. Okay. <laughs> cool. Man, is this game really an hour long? It's, it's brutal. 
Okay, so I never realized it, it really starts you at, like, kind of playing the same level again. At the beginning. And then it... Oh, I got an extra life. I hit 100,000. Oh, that's neat. I can't do anything to it, so I hate it, but that's neat. These are Salamander too. Uh, the, uh, the mythical heads there. Now I'm forgetting what civilization had similar statues. Oh, it's kind of a cool. Aw, oh, man. Kind of a cool spooky touch. Nope. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. V, A. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. V, A. Oh, no. <laughs> Daddy's in trouble. Seriously, though? Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. V, A. Start. Oh, my God, no. I think I have to beat another boss, it like resets It resets according to certain conditions that I clearly have not met. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, this is beginning to go badly. I need that speed up. There we go. Now I can at least sail past these assholes. Man, your default shot really sucks. Even with turbo, it's just terrible. Whoa! Okay. Down up, B A B A B A star. Let's see if that did anything. If it didn't, just in the interest of moving on, we're cheat coding. This looks a lot like the first level. It is the first level. So I'll tell you what. Casual stroll time. Let us go to the cheats menu. That's right. Load sheet file for we're in the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're going to Gradius down here. And now we're gonna find out. Oh, invincibility. That works. Apply changes. Resume. Let's see what happens. Also, up, up, down, <laughs> left, right, left, right, B, A. Start. Okay. Alright. We're gonna sail through Gradius now, but that's what we want. We wanted to see what's up. You guys don't want to watch me struggle with Gradius. I'm going to see all the cool bosses. I am going to use lasers because they are cool. That has a fucking irritating noise though. Oh man, you guys are nothing. Invincible, my ass! Wow, I'm shattered. I am shattered. What am I gonna do? So, wait. Yeah, I'm totally not invincible right now. What's up with that? Cheat. 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 Let's see. One more time. Maybe I fuck something up. Cheats. Invincibility on. Oh.
OG file. I, that was weird. I don't think, you know, they've perfected a lot about RetroArch here. It is a pretty amazing program, though. Gradius, cheat number zero, invincibility, on, apply. Okay, let's reset, how about that? Restart. Let's see how this boy I am. Not very. Well, alright guys, we're gonna just have to fucking white knuckle it. I hate the part where it requires skill. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm an overpowered beast. Star Wars pretty cool. I was hoping to be able to relax and chat more with invincibility on, but now I feel like I have to be on the edge of my seat. That's alright. Oh, double. Hey, I didn't have that yet. There we go. Hey, now I'm really spurting projectiles. Your speed, goofus. Not enough hugging. I know. Green King had all the hugging, bro. Thank goodness for the shield just then. Alright, I up my speed, but I'm fast. This is the limit. It would be it would be problematic to go much faster than this. And those who watch Green King. Lots of hugging. Lots of uh, very intimate male contact in Ring King. It's really our ode to masculinity and uh, with the fighting and the all the sex, frankly. <laughs> in a way, shooting somebody is like hugging them, though. If you think about it. Think about it. That's all I ask. Oh my god. Just die. There you go. The red core indicates that he's getting turned on. Okay, there. That was him blushing. He was like, Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god. I need more shield. The thing is, when the shield goes away, I'm not even sure I can get power-ups to replenish it, so... We'll see. That option comes back, that's a good one to invest in. Synthetic, would you happen to be robbed by any chance? Oh man. <laughs> that was that was pathetic. What's up, Rob? Good to see you. I miss your mohawk face. Oh my god. This is like incredibly tense when you can't move very fast. It's like somebody's chasing you, but you're Stephen Hawking. 
Okay. Well. Let's try again. Yeah, exactly. Every restart, I mean, um, the continue code is supposed to be down up B A B A B A, and then off you go. I used it earlier and I didn't get shit. So, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B A, start. Now, at least do this. Oops, I didn't hit speed up before this. Life Force is way better. I have the vertical mode, I have the thing the soundtrack. But hey, it's July of 88. You know, this machine is the first issue of Nintendo Power. Absolutely. Cool overhead sections. And didn't it have two player co op with tons of slowdown, but. Pretty badass game. Okay, that's gonna let me get a double, which I'm going for. <laughs> I would've been your friend, but I kinda played it solo all the time too. Shit. It probably sucks. There's no- everything's slowed down on the desk. There's no way you could keep, like, two people spurting bullets everywhere straight on an old mess. I couldn't even run the Ninja Turtles game for fuck's sake. Alright, I'm just gonna spam turbo missiles here until they let me go. Volcano. Whoa, shit. Hashtag prankster volcano. Yeah. It's like we're dancing. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit. Not a very long song they're playing. Okay. Hoping is, you know what? Oh my god, what's happening? What the fuck is this? I never had this happen. Okay, I'm freaked out. And I'm going to save state because that's my only only way we're getting any progress. Oops, quick menu, save state. There we go. Yes, I know it's cheating. Okay, so I seem to be in some realm of spooky heads. And now it's over. I could do nothing to them. They just flew. Oh, God. Now I'm way too fast. Holy balls. I've never seen that either. Why can't I do nothing to this thing? spot. I'm going to save this state. Keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, we're going to restart there. We've got a couple lives. That's not a bad spot. So, yeah, we're going to load that. Yeah, I'm fast. Now I can live. I 
I think speed is kind of required in this section. Biz doesn't work when I use turbo, unfortunately. So if you don't see, like that's me doing individual shots, you can see that, but I have it mapped to a button that doesn't show anything right now. I could show it the Xbox gamepad there, but it's just not the right thing to show. Alright, we're gonna load that state. Speed up! Shoot them in the mouth when they're open to damage. Oh god. But they're spewing these shitty rings at that time. It's like impossible to get. Let's test that theory. That one didn't even open his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work. Doesn't seem to be working for me very well. I think just dodging. Getting two speed ups so I can live. Oh god, don't let yourself get trapped. Alright. Speed up. Speed up. <laughs> Why do I keep going in that nook? That's a terrible idea. Alright, I don't want to make it past and only have one life, so let's. Speed up, speed up. Oh, I did it again. Fuck the nook. Totally safe state spamming. It's the only thing I can do. It's my only- oh you son of a- I think I'm gonna have to save state like- if I even get like a few yards ahead of where I'm at and scum save it. At my skill level, that seems to be what's necessary. Alright, didn't go in the nook. Ah, oh, shit, I have to... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Keep getting trapped in nooks. Trapped in the nook with you. Oh, oh I didn't do speed up. Oh, fucking asshole. <laughs> Why would you ever make a ship this slow and then send it to solve all your problems with no help? Like, here's your ship, it's called the Vic Viper. And you're like, wow, that sounds cool, what does it do? They're like, nothing. And you're like, that's not a good idea. They're like, yeah, it's slow. But we figure when you're out there, There'll be stuff lying around that somehow you can bolt onto your ship. Just trust us. This section is kicking me in the balls. Must have been a good idea. Fuck those slow ones. It's a missile, at least. <laughs> Just killing me inside. Right. I want to save as many extra lives as possible. 
So I have to keep. <sighs> so brutal. Alright, look. I survived that section, so let's just save that state. Okay. Oh god, I saved. I, <laughs> I sped up again. Alright, so we're gonna load that state. I'm not going to spin that power up there. Oh, we're going we're gonna load that state. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Nothing. Alright. I don't understand why they lied on the cheats. Let's just do one more time. I know, it's the definition of insanity. Yeah, it says off. It says off. On. Just to try. Resuming. Oh, that was with a death though, so let's load the state. Okay. Get for 50,000. <laughs> At the rate I'm going though. Alright, so every section I make it past this, I'm gonna save state again, because this is just getting silly. You and your little fucking greens. Hey, your mouth is open. Oh, why did I try to get revenge? Alright. Missiles. I heard you like rings. I don't even know what that means. Like butt like buttholes? I think you mean buttholes. Son of a... Dude. No, I didn't want to speed up again. Yeah, I took it there. I took it there. I don't think you were talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you ever suck so bad it's just funny? Okay. But things are getting weird. We're talking about buttholes. We're dying every two seconds. Let me just have a, have a drink of this whiskey. And then we'll continue. Don't act like you weren't talking about buttholes. I know when somebody's talking about buttholes, okay? I'm I'm a grown person. I know how to eye the butthole talk. How to, how to smell it. How to see it. How to touch it and taste it. Gotta go fast. I know. Well, I'm fucking going fast now because I spent my thing on a speed up. I have no ability to get that power. I made it through the section. I'm the greatest. I'm saving it. Let's go. I spent the goddamn <laughs> speed up. That's gonna just kill me quickly, so. Load state. When you're too fast, it's just so hard to make tiny adjustments. Son of a bitch. Woo! Okay. Will I survive another section? Let's find out. Nope, not that time. Uh, that's what she said? This went an unexpected place for me? I hope I didn't go to the butthole without your consent, dude. That was not my intention. Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Mm, bye. You can't get me. You can't. Yes, you can. Not that time. They corner you. Okay, so... I think it's 
better up here for some reason. I'm just thinking since you can blast through it, that's better. So, I have a gun. I'm gonna try it again. Mm. Try again. We're at 40 minutes in. This is uh, interesting. It is a longer game than I thought. If you suck, if you suck, it's a very long game. <laughs> you know what? Going to that bottom area looked good. Uh, so if I get a power up. Make it a missile. Zoom through. Oh, you little dick. Not a little penis having thing. I mean, my cue is an asshole. It's funny how no one wants to be called a dick or an asshole, but where would we be without them? See, the, bo the bottom area shields you from the shit on the top, so I feel like that's a good play. So what I'm going to do is save state it when I just get past this, because that's a chore in and of itself. We're zooming. And we're past it. That's a good save state. We're scum saving. Brutality, my friend. <laughs> but we're making progress, so let's load the state. Yeah. I shouldn't come out of there too early. So let's load the state. I don't think the open mouth thing works. I really wish it did. It does! Oh my god! I bet you anything that's supposed to, that's what I'm supposed to be doing this entire time. I feel like a jackass. Okay. No, don't block my shit. I know, yeah, the double shot. I need to I need coverage, like I need my flank to be to be like Fucking! Oh, I just exited it. Well, the state, the state will be saved. Give me one second to reboot. Yeah, we're gonna exit. I do not play in full screen mode on this. So let's get back to Gradius. We're running. Oh, it has the shaders on. Okay, sorry everybody. One second. Quick menu, shaders. We're turning those off. They look cool on my screen, but they don't stream well. We're applying. I'm gonna just do cheats one more time. Load cheat file. I swear they would not have put this in here if it didn't work. FG. I'll go up from here. Gradius. Invincibility, apply changes, and lastly, we're going to load state. Now, fucking Gradius is right. All right, back in it. Yeah. Rings. That's it. That's it. That was it. Stay safe. I am free. Get your Nuva ring shooting ass out of here. That was so shitty, that whole section. Oh my god, what are they doing to little kids?
you know, the kids playing this were like, I might speaking maybe just for myself, I was just a nerdy kid, it was nice to have Nintendo and judge me, it's just a machine that wanted me to have lots of fun, and then it treats me this way? It's like, no wonder I grew up to be an atheist. Okay, seems like as good a time as any to save. And we're scum saving our way through Gradius together. I am so fast right now. Got a double, finally. Gotcha. Son of a bitch. Nah, I'm not losing that. Pilots of whatever alien ships these are know that that's a bad idea to fly in an easy to shoot in a row formation like that. I can't get to it. Fucking hell. I was reading up on Gradius and it actually was only voted the 141st toughest NES game. And I am not buying that at all. This is hard. Yeah, dude. Somebody beat this without save states. What's up? Down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Start now. What's up, bitch? Thought you could talk shit to me, huh? Now you're gonna fucking regret it. So yeah, your ability to do Konami code is reset when you kill a boss, which we did. So now, on we go. I think I'm gonna stick with what I have, but I'll grab it just for kicks. I just tend to be a little faster. Even the screen clearing thing doesn't kill the bullets, so. Like, the relief you would get from hitting reset on the screen is denied you. Uh, did I ever watch Game Center CX? No, what is that? Be a little faster, maybe, when it moves around, I'll get a speed up. Speed up! Magritte, Walnut, Magritte, however you say his name. Oh, let's get in this position, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what game Center CX is. Is that like a from that G4 network or something? That totally just looks like two tits shooting weird balls at me. Japanese show where they get this guy to be the hardest mess in SNES games. He's ostensibly like a middle manager of the company. Does he have any success doing it? That's basically it. what this is. They should license that show and have me do it in the States. That's what I think. I'm definitely a middle-aged middle manager right now. That's exactly what I should be doing. Bam. Let's get the save state, I think. Oh, now that we're past that ring section, things are moving along. Okay, so my shield did dissipate, but I have the ability to get it again, so... It is possible to replenish, that is good to know. That makes it worth collecting these things for show. Mm, nah, I don't accept that. He almost always beats them, but not always. They make him stay until he beats them, <laughs> unless he gives up, which is very rare. Wow. Does it sometimes take, like, days of mastery? Is he locked in a room? Is he allowed to leave? 
Is it sadistic Japanese game show stuff, or is it just funny? These are the things that I need to know. Yikes. Yeah! The thing is, I'm not a bad player. This game just makes me look like one. And dodge shit. I play bullet hell games all the time. Oh, yeah. So they had this guy in life force, but he was a whole... brain. Slow down. Merciful. Slow down. You can kill them. That's good to know. Oh, shit. I don't think I'll take that out. Oh, I went too far back. I should have saved it. When the music changes, I'll save it. I can get through this pretty easy. Normal Japanese work ethic stuff. Like, it doesn't go more than 16 hours or so, but I don't think he takes breaks. Wow. Man, I went to Japan last year and went to the arcades in uh, Akihabara and players there are just on another level. Like, every game I played, I would see, they usually had multiple copies of the machines, and I'd be like, damn, that was hard, and like, it would totally suck, and I would see somebody playing it like it was, like watching a musical prodigy on the piano or something. It was really amazing. They also had really cool, like, LAN network uh, uh, arcade machines where people were hopping in and playing. I'm not sure I'd really say my state. Okay, I'm just making sure. And they played, like, sort of, um... Uh, MMO-style arcade games together. It's just with strangers while sitting in the room with you. I thought that was a cool concept. Arcades are popular enough that that's a thing there still. Cool, so glad I saved state. You know the feeling? Did you, have you been to Japan? Or just you're talking about watching prodigal people while being a sucker like me? Yeah, what? I love this. It's like bullet time. I'm fucking Neo, bitch. Oh, they get smaller, I think. As you shoot them down. But that's... Happy with just continuing. Just watch people who are insanely skilled and like a free idiot. Yeah, uh, there are Tetris players, for example. I always consider myself a pretty good Tetris player, and it's something I've been playing since I was a tiny kid, like in the 80s when it came out computers. And holy crap, people with that game. Like, there's this one mode in uh, some arcade version of Tetris where they they literally make, after you play a block, it's invisible. So you just have to memorize like kind of what's going on on the ground. And this course of, it's like coming like a block every second. And people can play it. They just play the shit out of it. It's almost like there's sort of a shorthand that they must have in mind. Where they have like a vague sense of like, oh shit, I shouldn't do that a vague sense of what's going on down there without even having to look. Like, that's pretty incredible. Again. Well, not everyone can travel, and I, I'm not trying to say something insensitive, but if you ever get the chance to go to Japan, life ever puts that path before you, I think you would have a great time. I personally thought it was really cool, just having been influenced by Japanese uh, media my whole life, and uh, it was also just a real pleasant place to be. It was super clean, and uh, people were very polite. It was beautiful uh, hiking there, and really interesting uh, cities and food. Excellent train system, it's easy to get around. In fact, I would say Tokyo kind of felt like why we came up with the idea of cities was so that a place like Tokyo could exist. And what we get instead is places like, you know, uh, oh, I don't want to show somebody a city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, put it on your list, dude. I, I, I kind of thought it was like, um... I was on my list of, like, advanced traveling because I thought, like, well, oh my god, like, the, um, the alphabet is different, and I can't even read signs there, but really, actually, most things are translated into English for you. Um, you can, you can usually point and front your way through things. Google Maps nowadays, like, it knows all the trains there, so you can just be like, I'm trying to get here, and it would tell you the exact train and how much it costs. I'm chatting so much, I'm not even playing, playing my game well, but totally doable. Duolingo is, like, good for really superficial... Like, and, and just a smattering of weird random stuff. Like, I, you learn how to say egg and apple really quick for some reason. Like, that's what you're talking about in foreign countries all the time. Um, but it is engaging. They gamify it well. Like, oh, you know, you earned an achievement. I swear to God, as soon as I'm past these pulsating testicles, I am fucking saving it again, but I don't, I don't see where it gets me, um, saving before then, this is rough. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone up. A friend went over with no language skills and made it fine with the Google Live Translate. That was, you can usually get the gist. Obviously, you know, it works pretty poorly, but, um, you know, usually it would hone in on a word or two that are like key phrases that get you the gist of what you're looking at. Like it helped with uh, signs and menus, the occasional sign and menu that wasn't translated. Nest slowdown is what's helping me there. Okay. Maybe I should just engage laser and get some firepower on these assholes. Try it. See what changes in the equation. Not much, as it turns out. The laser and life force is killer. This sucks. Die. Yeah. Whoa. I thought I was in the clear. This is a good spot. I'm going to save this. We're making progress. Yeah, I had a Ness advantage as a kid. Somehow I convinced my parents to spring for one of those! <laughs> and that actually intentionally gave you slowdown, specifically because it was kind of awesome. But it was so stupid, it was actually just turbo on the start button. So, if a game you select, you were shit out of luck. Oh my god! Okay, phew! This is where we get into bullet hell territory, but it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, the rings was a double section, this is a laser section. Although, I just want to be free. I knew there'd be more. Fucking sadistic, this game. Oh my god. I am spamming your ass with lasers. Just fucking die. You're right, you're right, you're right. You are right. Save state. The music was fading out. That's always a good cue. Another procession of these fuckers. Oh my god, it's not slowing down anymore. Extra life, that's pretty cool. Shit! That's okay. We saved it pretty. I 
gonna be gonna be more focused on just surviving than trying to kill things. It's the that's like the marathon music where they have like, can you survive this quick round of sprites onslaughting you? Save state for sure. Save state, please. section at a time. Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's been an hour, and you know what that means. That means it's dad joke time. That's really un... <laughs> uncool that they keep, like, recycling this fucking boss. definitely see how much less of a polished game than my force this is. Just stay locked in with him. But don't go toe to toe with him. Ooh, I got him. Bam, suck it. Saving that. Saving up for a shield. Okay, so dad joke. We're at an hour. Also, oh, I'll save the whiskey because this is probably going to be horrible. <sighs> you know, people say they pick their nose, but I feel like I was just born with mine. Yeah. That's what's required to deal with that shitty joke. Oh god. Alright, we're loading again. You know... You can both pick your nose and be born with a nose. I mean, like... And you can get rhinoplasty after you're born. So why don't you take that fucking joke and shove it all the way up your ass slowly? Oh. I really don't need to be safe sitting so aggressively. I do have three lives. We do have the right to another Konami code. If you have a better joke, you should whisper it to me on Twitch, and I will literally say it in my next stream. I stayed it there because whenever the music changes, that's like just a cue. Just a cue. Yeah, see? See? Let's... <laughs> I think I'm going into a place where I want this and stuff. Or maybe I'm not. Trying to cut through all that is actually looks really daunting. Trapped in here, bro, so the fuck away from me. Yes, I got the shield. Okay, progress being made. 
I am not speeding up. That is not going to be helpful right now. See, the blue thing could... It would have been merciful to clear the boards as well, right? Am I crazy? What is this thing? God damn, you're ugly. Your tentacle having ass. I think I'm hitting it. I'm totally hitting it. Unless I'm supposed to take the arms out first. I'm getting a lot of points. Yep, that was it. Save stage. Moving right along. I have to say, I've never played Gradius before. Um, I, I, I like. I, like, tried and, and died a couple times in the past. Um, Life Force is my game, that's the one I actually have. So, this is all new to me. This is actually kind of fun to see the whole game. Thanks to the tools of emulation, we can do some content tourism. Shield again. What's up? This is totally, like, double territory. I should not have lasers right now. Shit, lost my shield. That thing is aggressive. Fuck you. Clear screen and a lot just happened, so I am saving it. Let's go. Working towards that shield again. Got it. That's a crazy section. Yeah, it's just spamming me with everything. God, I ate the shield already. Ooh. I already have a back. Definitely hear that. What? 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 What the fuck? What the hell was that? Am I crazy or is that just a total fuck you? I think that's the last boss, though. So, oh well, fuck you too. That is the rudest shit. Fuck you, man. <laughs> All right, hood state. Okay, so I have to die. Then I have to survive this section by coming out here, and being slow as shit. Yeah, but it closed like while I was way on the right side of the screen. How am I supposed to know? Just kind of feeling out what's happening before I load the state again. So I'm gonna have to do this when I reload. Alright, first thing I need is. Oh shit, I got a missile. I meant to go to speed up. There we go. Whew! See if I can figure out continue. You're right. We beat a boss. Konami code time. So down, up, B A B A B A. Start. See, uh, I don't get it. Load state. All right. Now up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A. Start. There it is. Damn. <laughs> Everything is hitting that shield. God damn, it's already gone. <laughs> That's alright, we got a plan now. We die here because the game's an asshole. Get in here. We go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A start. 
Fuck all this shit up. That's what we did. No. We'll get through it. We'll get through it, and then we'll be situated for this last boss. Alright. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. I'll save here just to save a little time next time, and go. Maybe I'll just stop using turbo, because it's like better to have control of the timing of the bullets at this point. Fuck my ass in the dick. Oh, I fucking exited the controller, or the emulator again. Alright. In the interest of time, I will, uh, just leave the shaders on. Nah, I won't do that. That's shitty. That's shitty. I can do better than that. Shaders. No, we apply. And then we load state. And then we <laughs> resume. I know, I'm sorry. That was my thing. Alright, so I'm not using turbo. This is all manual shooting. Impressive, right? Load state. How can I be this souped up? I'm just dying instantly. Because I suck. Shit, fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like, I want to kill everything so that there's less heat on me, but being up there, like, puts you in the middle of a hurricane. Another one of those sections, like the rings, where it's just tiny spaces, tons of projectiles. What are you gonna do about it? Woo! Survive. Not doing it to me this time. Alright. That is a very important save. We're through the gate. What's up, you ugly motherfucking mother brain ripoff of asshole brain? I don't know what's going on. I guess I must have killed him. That's the end! Dude, I am the best. Have you ever seen skill like that? <laughs> it only took a hundred... Oh, well, then it just starts you over. Okay, then. We're stopping there. Everybody? Yeah, it was. NES endings, especially early NES games, were not known for their uh, lore spinning. I think here the deal was like the programmers would make games and they'd be reasonably hard, but then they knew the games really well and would think it was too easy since it was easy for them. Yeah, uh, imagine needing to play test your games. When I was at Microsoft, we had a thing called Infantry, which was like basically hiring like a hundred high school kids to just repetitively play your game. And you can instrument their progress as they go and all this stuff now. Um, they can adjust for audience skill level much more easily. Uh, but anyway, this was Gradius. We did it. Um, yeah, number 28 on the top 30 has been felled from beginning to end. We saw the ending of Ring King yesterday, and uh, we saw the ending of Gradius today. Couldn't beat Rygar in time. That's just too long a game. Um, but so far, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, Rob, thanks for hanging with me. It made a lot of fun today. Uh, 
you guys be excellent to one another, as Bill or Ted said, I think. And uh, this was a lot of fun. We'll see you next time on Uncelestial's Pleasure Dome. Okay, take it easy, people.